Your thoughts not only on the game today, but also on the previous 45? Uh, it's it's heartbreaking. I, I I can't explain the emotion that myself and the lads went through today. One minute you're up, one minute you're down, and then obviously to concede in the last five minutes, it's it's the worst feeling. But we can't we can't just go off this day today. We, we it's been a full season. You know what I mean? With it's been 45 games, and maybe we should have picked up points where where they were there to be taken, and that that's down to ourselves. And we've got to take her on the chin and be positive now and get Chester back into the conference next year. It's all ifs and buts, isn't it? But did the tension get through to you today? I mean, are you 2-1 up and they were at 1-1, Hereford rather were at 1-1. Did that all get through to you on the pitch? Um, well, to be fair, I didn't even know Hereford. I thought Hereford were still winning 1-0, so I, I mean, personally, I was just focusing on the result. I just wanted to make sure that we got the points and we didn't have to rely on anybody else. But. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a cruel game and it stung us, stung us up in the last couple of minutes. What was the mood in the dressing room at half-time? The mood in the dressing room was, was OK at half-time because we, we knew Hereford were winning but we were still in the game and we still still had another 45 minutes to get a goal. And I think the lads knew that it was there to be taken and I think in the second half we proved that for what, 40 40 odd minutes we were the better team. We were 2-1 two, two, up and then five minutes to go obviously. It, the lads done well back post, get a great ball back across, and they've got a goal. But we, we've got to look at ourselves over the whole season, and not just as today. I suppose it's fair to say if you could replicate that second half performance for the rest of the season, you'd have been pushing for a playoff place. That's it. I think. I think the last, the yeah, the gaffer was saying the last 21 games we've won 18 and drawn five. Now, if if we had to carry that on through the whole season, we wouldn't be where we are at the moment. But that's down to ourselves. We, we've got we've got to take it on the chin and. We've got to make sure that we can prove to everybody that Chester is a conference and a league club and next year we've got to come back and fight even harder. Now, <clears throat> emotions are obviously running high. I mean, everybody's on a downer at the moment. Is the squad, is the club big enough to come back next season? Oh, yeah, the, the club's fantastic. I, there's not many clubs around like this. Uh, that's, the way I, that's why I saw it by Chester. It's, it's a family club, it's a family club. And everybody knows each other, and everybody looks after each other. And I know, I know for a fact, and I can guarantee that, that the, with the lads that are in the dressing room now, and the staff, and everybody around us, I know that we can get this club back up to where it should be. And hopefully next year we can go out and do it again. Greg, I do appreciate you coming up here. That's Thanks very much. No problem. Thank you very much.